some advice you have about managing stress and mental health? I think that, particularly for young people, um, you know, self-care is what either sets you up for or detracts you from success. And I know for young people that we, we really push you all to do so much and run so much and accomplish so much. Don't listen to us. We're crazy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> On your last season of House of Healing, you hosted a group of women and tackled the myth of the angry black woman. Yeah. Why do you think we often get that late? Well, because there's nothing in this society, absolutely nothing, with the exception of Essence Magazine, was ever created to uplift and honor the presence of black women. And as a result, we are misunderstood. And also, I think that as black women, the easiest thing for us to demonstrate and display, as we talked about in the House of Healing, was anger. A, because then we got to control the environment. And B, we didn't have to explain what was really going on. Because when we go down, it's all going down. <laughs> when the black woman goes down, the ship is doomed. You know, people gave us the title because it was easier to continue to dismiss us. She's just an angry black woman. Yeah. Thank you. Joyful, joyful, Lord, we adore thee. God of glory, Lord of love, hearts and full like flowers before thee, holding to the sun above. Good evening. Our young Lamaxan has overcome overwhelming personal difficulties to become a lawyer. Minister, talk show host, best selling author, and national advocate for literacy. Ben Zane stresses that all of this social and self improvement was made possible only by tapping the power within. And tonight, she comes to share that power with each of us. After this short introductory video, please welcome Ayala Van said as she comes to rock. Just because somebody else can't see your vision doesn't mean that it's not a powerful vision for you. But if you don't love what you're doing, run for your life. We need to stop whining about what isn't happening, what we don't have, what we can't do, what somebody didn't do. I got something for you. Refuse to fail. Teddy said, the world won't get no better. 34 years ago, if we just let this be, it is not going to get no better. The world is not going to get no better. What? We got to change it. We got to change it. <laughs> Each and every day that you wake up, you have a life in your hands. That the chief architect and creator of the universe so loved and trusted you that a life was put in your hands. Your life. So I want to talk to you about two things today. I want to talk to you about your CIA and your PIA. Your CIA, your character, your integrity, and the depth of your accountability. Your character. Your character is what you stand for, what you stand with, and what you stand on. And when you stand for something, you've got to be able to stand for it privately and publicly. Do you value yourself first? Do you really understand who you are? Integrity. Do what you know is right even when nobody is looking. Integrity. When what you think what you feel, what you say, and what you do are all in alignment. Integrity is an outgrowth of character. It's about knowing that you are worthy of hearing your own truth. You are worth your own time, energy, and attention. Accountability. Being able to stand in the choice that you made regardless of the consequences and own that you made the choice. Own your stuff. That's how you keep yourself accountable. Because when you really stand accountable for the choices that you make and the consequences of those choices, you learn quickly. You learn quickly what works and what doesn't work. 
And once you learn what doesn't work, you can make a choice about what to do that honors you. You know what? Do you know why the road curves? You ever try like you go on a trip somewhere and you see how the road curves? You know, you go somewhere and then it goes around. You know what the road curves? Because God knew that if we saw how far it was from the beginning to the end, we wouldn't even sign up for the trip. So the road curves so that you only have to take in the more information at a time. You need a pin for everything. And if you don't have your pin, you can't get access to certain things. Ain't that right? But what does that mean in our own lives? Well, I say pin is purpose, <laughs> integrity, and nobility. What is your purpose? Why are you thinking that thought right now? Why are you saying that? Why are you feeling that? Why are you doing that? Stand in your nobility. Purpose, integrity, nobility. There comes a moment when you just have to stand and be willing to stand by yourself, within yourself, for yourself, with elegance, grace, and dignity, knowing that you may be standing alone. And if we don't do anything else in this world, if I could cast this spell on the minds of American people, it would be stop comparing yourself to somebody else. Stop comparison is an act of violence against yourself. CIA, PIA.